Hey guys, Mike Brisson here, and today I'm going to show you how we can steal some of the Unreal Engine's best features and put them into Unity. Let's get looting. The first feature that we're going to scoop today is the Deselect All keyboard shortcut. Now, there are some ways to get around using that uh, in Unity, but after today, you won't have to. Okay, we're going to start off with an example within the Unreal Engine here, where obviously I, uh, I have a full, full scene here. Uh, I can click on, obviously, individual items. I can hit Control A. I grab everything. I can hit Escape and deselect everything. Okay, so as you can see here, I've got a bit of a cluttered mess. And I can hit Control A, grab everything. And one of the ways right now that you can try to deselect anything is if you have any area in your open scene, uh, that you can click on you can click away and that is one way but right now i'm kind of in an area here where there's no available dead space so the only other way right now to deselect everything is you can find a single object and then hit control and click and that deselects that so you have to find so again if i have everything and i try to click on one thing and i have to click it again uh, to deselect uh, sometimes that's easier than other times so Okay, so instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a folder here and I'm going to call it editor. And then within that editor, I'm going to create a script and I'm just going to call this deselect all. Okay guys, we're going to double click on our script and this is going to be one of the easiest scripts that you'd have to write. So uh, we don't need anything at the top. Get rid of that. Uh, we do need the unity editor this uh, we don't need any of these methods here let's just get rid of all that uh, we're gonna put in our menu item and here we get to name it uh, what we're gonna whatever we're gonna name it in for the menu and I'll, I'll call this one custom shortcuts uh, and then we have a part for the drop down uh, in this case we'll call it the select all and we have to do uh, our short, uh, actual shortcut. So I'm gonna use the modifier um, alt. Uh, in this case, it's the ampersand and then the letter A here. And uh, we're gonna go static void, uh, deselect, I can spell. And that is it. And now you can see under custom shortcuts, I've got deselect all. So I can grab, click on, hit control A to grab everything. Alt A, deselect everything, and that is it. How could you do that to me? Do what? I heard what you said about me. What are you talking about? Don't play games with me. You're literally a game engine. That's what I'm supposed to do. You know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. What was all that Unreal is better bullshit? Oh, <laughs> the, I was just pointing out some things that the Unreal Engine does that you don't. I also have a video pointing out 10 amazing things about you. Whatever, I don't care. Anyways. Okay, guys, in this next one, we're literally going to take something from Unreal, uh, the Epic Marketplace to be specific. Now, you do have to be extremely careful that you read the EULA to make sure that it is not uh, licensed only for the Unreal Engine. You can only take things that, that don't uh, specifically say that. For example, anything that's actually from Epic, you're not going to be allowed to bring outside of the Unreal Engine. So uh, for here, I'm just going to find, uh, let's find a weapon. And we'll look for something free and again. So see how this is epic. Uh, and in fact, if I click on it, you'll see somewhere in here. Here we go. License for use with the Unreal Engine only. So uh, I don't think you want to take your chances with a, a lawsuit considering the state between uh, uh, Apple and Epic right now. So uh, I'm not going to obviously going to take this. We're going to go back and I'm going to this. You can see I've already owned it. Um, so I'm just going to grab click on here. 
and I'm going to add it to a project. Okay, so here we are in the Unreal Engine. Uh, where I'm going to go, you can see here, here's the weapon pack. We're going to go into our mesh, weapons, and let's, uh, let's go for the shield. So I'm going to left click to highlight it, and then right click, we'll go to Asset Actions, and we're going to go to Export. And I'm going to, let's go to find a file or anywhere. I'm going to go to exports. Sure. All this weapon. And you want to deselect pretty much everything in here. So I turn off everything. And we'll hit export. As well as the, the shield here, we need the textures to go with it. So we'll go here with the, there's the textures folder and just make sure that they're all the same. So you can see here, there's, uh, there's dirty set one, one, one. So another dirty set, we just want normal. So we're gonna say, click on that, normal, and also the occlusion. And let's export these as well into the same one. Save it and save okay and now let's head on over to unity okay so i'm over in unity now uh we will let's import these uh, assets highlight them all let unity do its thing okay so first thing i'm going to grab is drag the shield into the scene and you'll notice that we don't see anything uh the lighting is partly to blame so let's fix that Okay, and the next thing, we need a material on this. So, let's create a new material. We'll just leave that as default for now. Uh, and we just have to drag these textures now into the appropriate slots. So we'll drag that in. Uh, the normal actually has to be marked as a normal. Normal map. Apply our normal in and our occlusion, and we just have to assign this now to the shield. Oh, and there we go. Voila, we have our asset complete from the Unreal Engine. It's always Unreal this or Unreal that. It makes me sick. Come on, you know how important you are to me. All I hear is. Blah, 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 I'm a two-timing tramp. Don't be like that. If you like Unreal so much, you don't need me anymore. Goodbye, asshole. Sniffle. What are, you, what are you doing? Where'd you go? Unity? Unity? Uh-oh. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for liking and subscribing. And I've just started a game developer battle. Uh, with a friend of mine, game dev guy, I'll put a link to his channel in the description. Uh, every Sunday, we'll be presenting our progress on each of our respective games, and we'll be competing against each other, so stay tuned for that.